So today we will cover three main areas. First, we will talk about planning your publication strategy, then organizing the information, specifically how to approach writing and how to structure your manuscript effectively. And lastly, we will uh, touch on uh, publication ethics, especially uh, plagiarism and proper citation techniques. So I'll, uh, I'll be happy at the end to answer any question. As Audrey mentioned, if you can put them in the Q&A uh, section so they don't get lost, and uh, I'm sure we will have a fruitful discussion uh, at the end. So. Uh, thinking about the publication process, this is something uh, that's been around uh, uh, forever, but of course now uh, with the today's research world uh, is um, more structured. So the way it works, uh, as scientists we study something, we observe, we uh, obtain some findings, we write about our findings uh, and uh, we send the uh, paper to, uh, to a journal. Uh, the first uh, contact uh, at the journal is the editor that receives the article and decides whether it's worth it uh, to send it out for peer review. Um, so the editor sends your paper um, out for peer review. Usually the reviewers are uh, three so that if there is some disagreement let's say if two agree for publication and one doesn't uh, we can uh, the editor can come to um, to an agreement uh, and if the article meets all the editorial and peer uh, review standards is published in a journal otherwise it can be uh, sent back to the authors for uh, uh, rejection or for major revision or minor revision so uh, don't be discouraged. We will see how you can uh, maximize your chance of uh, publishing a, uh, an article, uh, which, of course, uh, we know it's it's a long process and uh, it can be frustrating sometimes. So let's see how we can effectively plan your uh, your publication strategy. So the first uh, uh, the first thing to to think about is the journal. Selecting a journal is, uh, is very important and maybe some, it's something that uh, is not the first thing that uh, comes to your mind. Um, so now we'll see why is selecting a journal is important and the factors to consider when uh, selecting a journal and uh, how you can um, make sure you've picked uh, the right journal to maximize your chance of publication. So, I mean, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is just um, an example of uh, some covers of some journals. So these are mainly um, related to, to biomedical research, but uh, there are thousands, thousands uh, uh, of journals out there and they're all uh, uh, different and they might all uh, suit different needs. So. I want to start uh, with uh, with this thing first. That uh, unfortunately now, the, uh, in uh, the academic world, which uh, can be quite competitive, uh, uh, sometimes there's an overemphasis on uh, journal impact factor. Um, so people go tend to go to, to high impact factor journal. Uh, without considering all the other factors uh, related to choosing a journal for your publication. So uh, most people uh, would like to publish uh, in uh, Nature, Science, PNAS, the Proceeding of the National Academy of Science. So these are, of course, uh, very, very prestigious journals. They are also, um, especially, uh, so Nature and Science, they, they are very general. So they would uh, publish uh, anything related to any scientific disciplines that it's important. So you can see how prestigious they are because if something uh, gets published on uh, nature or science, it means it has really wide implication and it's uh, really important for the whole scientific community, not just for a, a specific uh, field. 